Morning, everybody. Moose here. I am uh, on my way to work. I have a topic, but I've been practicing in the parking lot first. I'm going to do a few more loops. I want to see how I look like on my phone. I got my phone over there in the tower. And uh, I got some work to do on my right, definitely. Probably some work to do on my left. So, oh, got the 360 on today. I'm hoping this don't fall off. Looks like it needs to be tightened up with an Allen wrench. I think it'll be all right for right now. Take me a minute to get warmed up here. I want to see how I'm doing. Peg down. I definitely need some work on my right. Trying to. Yeah, it's pegged down. I'm a little weary on my right hand side. I can't seem to. Get it too good. I don't know. I need some work on everything. But this is what it takes. Yeah, okay. So we got some work to do. But that's the first day of practice. So it's all about getting used to not having the clutch. And uh, it's not the bike, <laughs> the bike's fine. But I, uh, I'm so used to doing it with a clutch that it's hard not to do it with a clutch. I'm so used to having that clutch to go out and I gotta learn throttle control. So, that's the secret, I guess. I'll just keep working at it. And Rome wasn't built in a day. But it is 1.55, I gotta be at work at 2.30. Great, I'm already running late. So, let's talk oil, shall we? Oil, oil, oil. Not oil in general of brand, but oil in general of um, wear. I brought this up one time years back in one of my videos, or maybe it was a year ago, I can't recall. And I didn't key into it very much. It was a real slight, oh, I'm still recording. <laughs> All right, well you get a picture of my mirror, ain't that great? Anyways, I brought up that I do tend to uh, often have my oil checked on my bikes. Should do it on my car and I never do. Uh, as far as I know it's still $25. I do it at Blackstone Laboratories. That's where I send my oil out. I don't do it every time. But today I actually put some in the mailbox and uh, you know put it in there and shipped her out to them. One was from over a year ago. I'm hoping the sample isn't too old but I figure climate control garage should be okay. It was for the Harley, the Road King. I changed it right around 60 some thousand miles. And I want to see how the engine's doing. I've never had it tested. The Goldwing I sent in at 19,000 roughly miles on the bike. Uh, that's the third time I've had it checked. Uh, I'm gonna see how that compares. And then next time, my plan is not to send it in as long as this one tests good, but to uh, run regular oil in it like Honda recommends because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than synthetic AMS oil is right now. And for as often as I change it, I'm not really getting the, I'm not getting a full use of AMS oil. So really why use it? Um, I'm paying more for it. Like, you know, you're talking AMS oil, you're talking about four to $5 more a quart probably. It's going for 13 to $14 a quart right now with the preferred membership. So if I change the regular oil, I can probably get it for $8 a quart or something like that, and why not? They say the run is on regular oil anyways. But the reason I bring up the testing is one, to bring it to your guys' attention. For some of you that may not know, you can do that. You can have your oil sent out, and they send you a nice printout uh, via email, uh, such as this one right here, where they give you all the mineral discounts, the uh, wear on your engine, what they figure it's wearing at, how it's doing for other bikes run that year model, range and mileage and it uh, one can either give you peace of mind two can help you look where you might be having problems that you don't know about the damn windshield stop working again the damn Honda and uh, which is very beneficial it is really windy I'm sorry I would put the windshield up but the windshield just started to stop working this thing is so temperamental it's the only problem with this bike that I've had is that damn windshield 
Every time you turn around, it just doesn't work. And I don't know why. I do not know why. So I'm gonna stop, turn the bike off, just for a moment. See if we can't reset the windshield. Okay, that's down. Man, what a pain in the butt. <sighs> Don't buy a gold wing. They're shit. Oh. <laughs> That's the main problem I got with this bike. I won't follow the windshield, just acts up. I don't know why that is. But yeah, back to the whole oil thing. Do you guys have your oil checked? Uh, did you know you could have your oil checked? Let me know in the comments. Because I'm curious. I, I uh, found out I could have it checked. I think it was, um, yeah, Law Biden Biker. I think it's the name. Yeah, that podcast. I used to watch the channel a lot when I had a Harley. They're, you know, pretty good channel. Got some pretty good, uh, really good video they do a good job but anyways that's where I found the information about testing your oil so I decided to start doing it on my I started doing it on my 2018 ultra limited and I'll put the link down below for Blackstone laboratory so you know where to find it and you can have them mail out sample containers for you uh, they mail off free of charge or leave still and then what you do is you fill out the slip on the inside you can either put a credit card on there or you can add a credit card on file I believe on their website uh, check of course you can do that as well and you give them the information on a little slip of paper in, the, in this container they give you uh, of what the bike is the make the model the engine style what kind of oil you're using you know AMS oil mobile synthetic regular uh, how many miles run the bike and engine wise how many miles run the oil possibly if you know and they take all this information they run it through a system of somehow checking it I don't know how they do it it's scientific I am not that guy and then they give you a printout report of basically how your engine's wearing, how the oil's doing compared to the engine. It tells you everything. Uh, for the layman, you can kind of understand the best you can, but they do a good job of uh, explaining it in basic terms so you can be like, okay, my, my engine's fine. Like this one, they say has a little bit of wash by, or a uh, little bit, so like a little bit of gas. So they said that's not something really to worry about. They said some engines do that a little more than others. Um, I'm curious if it's because of the uh, different kind of oil I'm running in it, so that'll be interesting to see how that works after I get the regular oil in it again for a while. But the bike runs fine. I haven't had any problems with it, and I got the peace of mind of the oil samples. Not to mention one other thing. It only I think it's $25, like I said, to get the report, unless it went up a little bit. I don't think it did. That's what it was last time. Peace of mind not only does it give you, but if you happen to have something go wrong with your engine, or something else and they you know let's say you know Harley Honda Yamaha Kawasaki any of the manufacturers and they try to go well it's it's because you changed your own oil and you did something wrong well you could be no I got I got reports right here stating that everything was fine and you know I know my engine was okay so it's not because of my oil change that I did myself because every time I did them they were fine and I had the receipts to show that I did my oil changes because you're allowed to do your own oil changes. You're allowed to do your own maintenance. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. As long as you do it properly and you keep your receipts and you don't do the work yourself and you can prove you did it right or did it, you're fine. The Magnuson Moss Act, I think in 1974, it covers you against companies holding you hostage against them having to work on your vehicle. So, you know, people are always worried about Harley-Davidson. Oh, I don't want to work on it. It'll affect my warranty. Or they're worried about the Honda. I don't want to work on it. It'll affect my warranty. Bull. Work on it. Do your own maintenance. Do it right. Keep your records. And you're fine. But have the peace of mind of maybe having your oil checked periodically. Don't do it every time. You know, there for a while I did. 25 bottles of pop. I can justify it because I changed my oil so I'm saving the money from the labor. Even if you're not, take the jar and have them take a little sample out and they do your oil change. I'm sure they won't mind. Send it in once a year, maybe twice a year. See how your engine's wearing. If it's wearing good, don't worry about it for a while. Send it in again later. If you change oils, try it again. It could be worth its weight in gold. It's just my, uh, my uh, outlook. It's my thoughts. If you want any more information on it, I can try to provide as much as I can. Uh, 
uh, having doing it, done it since I owned my Ultra Limited, which was back in 2018. So this will be the fourth year I've been sending oil and have it checked. And I've been very happy with the, uh, you know, everything's been well. But uh, it's been nice knowing that there's nothing seriously wrong. And it's that, that peace of mind when you get ready to go somewhere, right? You know, hey, this thing's going to make it. The engine's fine. So there's that. And uh, there'll be some more topics coming up soon. I have some reviews I would like to do on some of the stuff I've had on this bike now for the past two years. I think I've uh, definitely put in the work of using those items. And I can give my opinion on whether they're good, bad, or just meh because after two years let's face it you should have a pretty good idea if it worked or if you didn't like it so look forward to those coming up uh, probably won't mean much if you don't have a wing but it could because I am going to do one on the uh, NO camera system that I carry on the bike that's been on there since I bought it well shortly after I bought it that records forward and back they're both cameras running right now on the DVR and I can uh, I'll give you my opinion on that eventually that'll be a video coming up here in the next month or so i'm going to do a couple different reviews on things on this bike so and uh planning a camping road trip here in probably june i'm thinking sometime so there'll be that coming too and uh till next time this is moose you know what i'll talk to you later thanks for listening